guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter preview. Today we're going to be talking about the game Luminous Ages as well as Dragon Mode, which is their base structural game, and then of course Dragon Dreams, their new thing on Kickstarter. You can go actually, actually pick up both of them if you would like. In the game Luminous Ages, it is a similar thing to an LCG, which uh, similar to like Android Netrunner and the like, where you're going to be having your own deck that you can pick up and instantly play with it. You can acquire new cards and put them in and make your own unique deck. But you're not going to be buying any booster packs or anything like that. So it's going to be simply just a constructing your own deck and playing against other players. It plays from two to four players, two to five players with the Dragon Mode variant. And uh, you can play with up to two players in a single box with the Dragon Dreams deck. You can go ahead and pick up two if you want, which is probably going to give you a better experience overall. But in the game, you're going to be simply playing down dream structures as well as uh, dream lands and quest lands and all this other great stuff and using them or utilizing them in order to summon new monsters. Now there's quest creatures, there's going to be royal creatures, you're going to have god creatures, and uh, they're all going to be utilizing different things. Now basically what's going to be happening is you're going to be uh, going back and forth on your turns, in basically increasing your different areas, and providing your defenders to protect them. Your objective in the game is to summon god monsters and hold them on to a cert for a certain amount of turns. If you can do that, you can win. Another way is going to be simply by removing your opponent's life total down to negative 10. That's also a way you can win. Uh, you can play with multiple players and it doesn't really matter what kind of deck you want to make because it all constructs into the same type of thing and depending on if you pick up the dragon mode uh, booster box here or the dragon dreams packs you will get a, you'll get a nice chunk of tokens from this one here as well as two different decks. We'll go ahead and show you what you get below in the different decks along with how they're kind of different in their own unique way. Okay, so here we have a lot of different things from the game Luminous Ages. And as you can see, there's three of the four different types of Dragon Dream sets that you can be getting. It has about 75 cards in each set, and they all have their own unique theme, as well as all the colors of that specific type. Some of the decks, uh, this deck right here, see, as you can see, there's a ton of the black cards in it, or this one over here has got a lot of the white ones in it. So they all have their own kind of unique themed uh, style. Much like a game like maybe Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh would have, they all have their own specific type of deck. And in that they're going to be getting cards such as dream structures, your core lands of course which you're going to need to start with, uh, constructs, royal creatures, uh, dream creatures, these guys will give you actually dream life when you summon them, and they all have the unique abilities down below. You can have royal creatures, god creatures, quest creatures, artifacts, quest land, and uh, this thing here is actually a spell I believe. Um, and they all have that, they're all unique the little aspects to them as well as you can see. Uh, the bottom right hand corner is going to be the cost of these guys to a certain extent extent uh, for the um different creatures and whatnot. It's also going to be the uh, strength of a dragon lord as well as his health. So this, these guys are, or the dragon gods, these guys are really, really powerful. Uh, but these are the basic uh, dream decks you can pick up the dragon dreams. Over here, of course, on the complete opposite side over here is going to be the uh, dragon mode, defeat the dragon gods, luminous ages booster box that comes with all the stuff here that you see. You're going to get uh, the basic explanation of the game uh, as well as you're going to be getting uh, these little components here. This is going to be your dream life from all the way to 50 along with uh, going down to negative 10 which is how you can lose as well uh, you're going to also get two separate decks of the uh, for the game and they have tons of unique colors in them here this is more like the rainbow decks here as well as unique tokens and uh, bonuses so pluses and minuses and whatnot you're going to be utilizing them for your creatures as you, as you play the game and a full rule book that explains everything you know, need to know in order to play the game uh, with pictures and additional um, additional rules for cooperative variants and uh, the big dragon mode because it's going to play up to five players here. So you get a ton of stuff on this, with this. But overall, this is pretty much what you're going to be getting. You can go ahead and choose between one of them, two, three, or all four of the different decks here, or you can pick up the uh, dragon mode set, which is enough to play. I believe this one plays up to five players. So a lot of stuff to choose from. So all right, let's come up and talk about how the game is kind of played. So like I was showing before, there's a bunch of different things you can pick up in this uh, Kickstarter campaign. You're going to have the uh, dragon Dragon mode, which as I was saying is cooperative or competitive, in which you're actually going to fight against the dragon gods. Multiple players fighting the dragon gods. Uh, the competitive mode is where you're going to be fighting against them and trying to gain the, do the most damage. And the uh, cooperative mode is just simply trying to deal with them all. So it has that nice little 
differentiation between the basic game, which is simply two players going back head to head and fighting against each other. The game is going to be correlated related to the fact that you need to play, uh, you have these core lands, you can play them once a turn, and you can also attach dream lands to them and other dream structures and whatnot. And you're going to be using dream life in order to summon creatures. When you play certain lands and certain creatures like dream creatures and quest creatures are going to gain dream life and you can utilize this board uh, in order to show that you're gaining it because you need to do so in order to summon your dragon god. Uh, if you're able to summon it at 30, uh, you can have it out for two turns, you can win the game. Or if you can summon it at 50, you only need to play it on one turn. But on your turn, after you're playing these certain cards, you're going to be able to utilize them uh, basically like you would in some games like Magic, where you're utilizing the mana, utilizing your dream life, your dream lands to tap and then thusly produce uh, dream life to create monsters, right? And uh, you also have some unique aspects to it too. You have quest creatures and quest lands in which you can play them on their quests and try and uh, you, ro you roll a die and try and accomplish certain quests and whatnot. And that is going to net you either dream life or the ability to destroy other monsters and other cool stuff like that. Now, each and every single game is going to involve the different, like I was talking about before, the core lands in which you're going to be having up to five different zones. And when you attack, you can attack all of one zone to another zone. You're going to take that attack, add it all up, subtract it from your opponent's defense, whatever monster to choose in the block with and then you will um, just defeat their monsters right if however they don't have monsters or damage gets through up to eight you'll actually be destroying structures or, or destroying lands dreamlands um, and then if you have additional damage over eight or just simply if you're fighting one like these and there's a uh, more than four lands you can actually take their own their structures from them and and there's certain ways in which you'll be able to suck away dream life from them or simply just take it because they don't have any monsters in the location because it's all about gaining that dream mana or dream dream sorry dream life and you'll be playing artifacts as well. There's different spells throughout the game that you'll be able to play included. And you have the three different victory conditions. Firstly, you can go ahead and just summon the Dragon God at 50 life or 30 life, as well as simply bringing your opponent down to negative 10 dream life. That is the basic idea of the game. Let me go ahead and show you down below. It has a little walkthrough as to how it's kind of played, just so you get an idea or a feel of the game. And then I'll come up and talk about the rest of the stuff. So here we have Luminous Ages for two players, and it's the competitive variant of the game in which you can win by either getting up to 50 of your uh, dream, dream life and also summoning your dragon, having it out for a turn, or 30, summoning your dragon out, having it for two turns. And then the final way is if your opponent goes down to negative 10 dream life. And how you're going to do it is simply take all of your core lands, you're going to have five of them, and you're going to put them over here. I've set up for the first turn so you can see all the different areas of the game. you got your quest land over here that you'll start with, along with your dragon god and your quest creature that's going to be off to the side here. you got a hand of eight cards that you can go ahead and choose to mulligan if you'd like. And you're going to start off with zero, but you're going to gain one for every time you play a core land, whenever you play a quest creature or a dream creature, and there's a couple other ways that it can happen. And how the game works is pretty simple. You're going to draw a card to start with, then you're going to return any creatures you have from Dark Call. Untilting cards are very similar to untapping. You're going to actually be using these tokens provided that you have the, uh, the Luminous Ages Dragon Mode set. And if not, you can simply move them to the side just like this. But you would remove any of these tokens if there were any on them. The next thing you could do is place a land. So on the second turn, I can simply place this land just like that. And then summon any creatures or artifact creatures. Now when you do that, you're going to have a hand of cards here. They're going to tell you uh, basically what type of creatures there and lands there are. There's Dream Lands here that you can play on top of lands if you'd like. You've got things like dream structures that can also be played on core lands. You've got creatures that are dream creatures. You've um, and uh, Creatures, basic creatures, dream creatures. And then you've got stuff like spells here. Um, and you can utilize them by simply checking to see their uh, power and or their uh, cost. As you can see over here, this guy would only cost one. So you can go ahead and tilt this and then you can select this and play it on any of your structures. These are each your own zone. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and defend this specific core land uh, utilizing this uh, dream, uh, dream life here and bringing it into play. Um, now, not only that, but after you've done summoning any of the creatures you want to do, you can go ahead and go questing and take your quest creature, provided you have enough to spend on them, and bring them over here. And then you'd be able to roll a die. And if you're successful based on the number of creatures on here, you're going to be able to utilize its questing ability. This one here says that if you're successful, you can get to uh, drain your opponent's dream life by two and gain two dream life. And if your roll fails, you actually would lose one instead. Now, then you can choose to go to either dream quest land if you would like, though. 
Uh, after that, you can go ahead and use your abilities, uh, instant abilities or activated abilities, and then you do attack phases. And attack phases are pretty simple. Uh, basically, if you have a creature out, so let's go ahead and say that we had a creature out, and uh, we had these three out, just so you get an idea. Uh, you could then, uh, you have these three tilted, I suppose. You could attack from one destination to another. Now, if you notice here, the numbers here represent their power, their strength, how much dream life they gain, depending on if you played a dream creature or not with them. Um, or whether or not you're attacking. So this whole area here is going to attack this whole area here. And this guy can choose to defend if he would like. If he does, he would probably die because three is greater than one. If he didn't, the damage would go through and you would su you would basically take a dream life. You gain dream life based on the coral lands here. So you can, you'd go up on this little track here. Uh, for each creature in this area that attacks here. If you had more than four lands, you'd actually be able to, to destroy structures or uh, any of the bigger ones like... Uh, the uh, Dreamlands here, let's see what this one right here, like if you had one of these here, you'd be able to destroy it if you did more than eight damage. Otherwise, uh, you would actually be able to suck, take these, you could steal these guys here, these core lands, if you did more than eight. So that's another thing you could do. Uh, after that, then you have the spell phase, uh, the abilities, you can try and bring out your dream god. So if you have enough dream life, you can go ahead and choose to bring it out and try and keep it on the field. And then after that, you conclude your turn and all your creatures and health all reset. So if he actually had two damage on him, it would all reset. And then after that, the next player would get to go. It would go back and forth. You get to draw your card once again, playing more creatures and whatnot. And that's the basic idea of the game. It's pretty simple as far as it goes. Three different ways to win, right? And the, each of these decks that we were talking about here with the um, these little these ones right here, the Dragon Dreams decks, are all basically going to be specifically structured so you get all the different types of creatures in it. And you can see the Kickstarter campaign as to all the different things you can get. But this is the basic idea of the game. Taking your opponent down, bringing out your Dragon God, who's very, very, very powerful, and then having him stand the test of time, win you the game of Luminous Ages. All right, let's come up and talk about it. Now, I think it's pretty fitting to say that Luminous Ages has some amazing artwork. Anthony Cristo does an amazing job at bringing all of these creatures to life, as well as introducing comic books and other little storyline aspects to the game that kind of give it its own unique world. And uh, they have th things like Equatoria and whatnot. These are all like part of the world itself and also part of this game, which is super, super cool. You would think that a game like Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh or any of these other symbol like TCGs um, would represent this one, but it really doesn't. This is actually kind of a different style of game. You're going to have zones and whatnot and you're attacking and it's not necessarily about defeating opponents monsters. It's all about that dream life. Now of course if you can lower that dream life to negative 10 that's how you're going to win the game, but there's other ways which of course means the dragons and then of course there's variants like this dragon mode where you're actually playing cooperatively competitively against the dragon gods themselves. So it brings a lot of new things to the tabletop. Now, not only that, but there is not a huge amount of abilities, which is nice. There's enough, though, which makes it interesting. And if you look into the rule book, it'll tell you what all of the different ones do. You have, like, flying, you have guarding, shield, dream alliance, dream corruption, all these basic things that either increase your, uh, your power or decrease it. Things like dark call and royal call, you have taunt. These are just some abilities that are going to be on the creatures. That's going to be depending on the hierarchy of creatures. There's no, like, super rare or rare. What you buy is what you're going to get. If this is more of, like, a uh, it's similar vein to a living card game, something like Android Net One in which you're going to be able to pick up certain things, create your own deck, and then simply play it. Everything you see is everything you get. There's no surprises in the game. However, certain monsters are stronger than others based on the cost or based on whether it's a dragon god or not. The dragon gods are always going to be the most powerful, and they're going to sit there on the field, provided they don't get smushed. Sometimes they do, but it takes a lot because these guys are very, very powerful. Choosing between the four different decks you can pick up on the Kickstarter campaign is up to you if you'd like. I think there's four, there's four different colors. The green, red, uh, black, and white, I believe. We have three of them here, and we were testing out playing them back and forth, and it feels very, very fresh and interesting and new. This is actually a game I played a long, long time ago when I first reviewed uh, Kickstarter games. I got to check this one out. I was very excited and very surprised at how amazing the artwork was. And then I got this copy of the uh, Dragon Mode, Defeat the Dragon Gods, after uh, a long a long wait for me. I think it was about maybe six or eight months. And it wasn't too long, but you know how Kickstarter is. It takes a bit. But nevertheless, um, when it came, I was very, very excited. And I came with a bunch of tokens. It came with all the dice you needed. It came with all the different scoring and whatnot. And uh, there was definitely an, such an improvement to this game, which I was very, very excited to see the quality of the cards and whatnot. And it gave you enough to play any of the different modes you wanted. And I like that aspect. If you're interested in a game that's more going to be like a TCG, uh, you'd probably want to go and play the, the Luminous Ages two-player variant where you're going back and forth playing against your, your pre-made deck based on the cards that you picked up in the campaign. If you want something a little more competitive, uh, 
with a cooperative aspect to it, you should definitely pick up the dragon mode box here. Uh, when you want to fight against all the different dragons, this is definitely where you're going to want to go, especially if you want a multiplayer kind of card game. Um, I don't know what you want to call it necessarily, but it's like you're all around the table fighting against the computer and it has that that aspect of this. It's blasting you and you have to defend yourselves and protect yourselves. And uh, it's this one's going to be a little more, but you're going to get enough. You're going to get enough for like up to five players to play this game. Along with, I think you can still probably even play just the basic game out of here. Not only that, but it comes with all the tokens you need and all the life token trackers. So picking that up would be something you probably want to do. If I was actually going to pick up these dream packs here, uh, the, 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 the dream dragons one here, I would also want to get these guys guys here these are super cool hopefully they have a, a, a way you can actually pick up these separately i'm not sure if you'll be able to do that or not if not you have to pick up this here overall the artwork is amazing though and uh if you want to check out my review for the game you can go ahead and see that in the past it's probably even on the campaign currently right now as well as a really good one from board game brawl hopefully this gave you enough information to check out the new luminous ages the dragon mode as well as these packs over here the dragon dreams booster pack or full sets actually they can play almost up to two players i think probably be squishing it so you probably want to get two of them if you do uh, or just play against your friends here. There's a big competitive uh, community that's going on with the Luminous Ages. And I think you can even pick up the comic books too, which are just gorgeous. The artwork is amazing. I'm, I have I have it actually in my, my back wall back here. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this gave you enough information. Check it out. Go in the description below and see if it's something that would be interesting for you. Luminous Ages, Dragon Mode, and the, the Dream Set over there. Check it out on Kickstarter up now.